How you doing? We're live and direct from the Crawfish and Hip Hop here at the Concert Pub with JD, the owner of the Concert Pub North here at, you know, I like it, man. The Concert Pub North, yeah, baby. there you go. What's up? How you doing, H-Town? I'm doing, we're doing great, man. Oh, this I'm was a great talking. event. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking to them. Like, okay. <laughs> this was a great event put on by yeah. your team, Hustletown Network, 97.9 to be. I mean, everybody was everybody. awesome today. It All was day. amazing, man. All crawfish. Day. Have you got your crawfish? Did oh, you I eat crawfish? About, I don't know, about six, 700 pounds today we cooked. Woo. Yeah. There's it still is. about 200 left. We'll There's still about 200 left? Oh, yeah. Some people want, where is it at? Oh, they might have closed it. Maybe they closed it. <laughs> what time is it? it? I don't know. Man. Hey, all that staff and everyone's been here since like 9 and 10 this morning. Oh, yeah. They so we fully understand. Yeah, we they did understand. a good job. It was a great festivities that went down today. You had the car show. You had all the vendors. You had the low riders. You had everything. Man. The hoppers. You had... All the vendors were great. Everybody was helping out, set up the fences, parking, uh, marking off the parking lot. What was your favorite lot. car? I got my own cars. I had, <laughs> like, they want me to come up here, drink with them, party with them, and then drive my old cars on. We can't do it. So what was your favorite car out there today, though? Um, I wasn't out with the cars that much, but that blue one was a beast. I, saw yes. them, I helped them load it on the uh, yes. line there. But no, we had a lot of cars. We've done a lot of car shows with addictive habits, too. Uh, okay. H-E-X, they, I mean, cars are cool. Drinking food, dancing, music, cars. Big, it's great that you showcase hip-hop here. Like, you have... You have Peso Peso yep. about to come through. You back got here a while Miss back Gold about yep. to come through. You yep. got Mexico T about to come through. Yep. How big, like, how important is showcasing hip hop? But I've been doing clubs. This is my eighth club, and we've done rock bars, dance bars, hip hop. I had Far West Rodeo back in the day. Okay. We were Latin hip hop, Club AM. We were doing a bunch of good stuff. In fact, Carlos, uh, he came up at, that, at our club and Lifestyle. Uh, Frankie J, Baby Best, they all came up in our club too back in the day. And, a lot of good stuff, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your most memorable act that you've ever seen perform? Ooh. No, I can't. You can't do it? I've got about 35 years in, in eight places. It can't do that. <laughs> hey, but when uh, AB did his first show, uh, Selena's brother, AB Quintanilla, okay. Cumbia Kings, they did their show at our place, and I bought lights and fireworks and cameras and, and uh, helicopters, and, and uh, it was just so exciting. And... Uh, they did the Selena release movie at our place too, which is amazing, and that's yeah. That's, that's dope. And Jennifer Lopez was uh, filming in Europe. She was on the screen going, "Hey, what's up, Far West Rodeo? How's it going?" But yeah, that, that that was a very exciting time of our life. Sad how she passed, but having all that part of our life too was pretty cool with that stuff. Understand? Yeah. Coming from a businessman with his eighth club, we got to ask you a serious, serious question that everybody's been asked today, but we want to hear your insight. A million dollar credit limit or a hundred thousand dollars cash? Which one is better? Well, before I answer that, <laughs> <laughs> somebody wants our, our club, Far West Radio, is where Mesquite is over there. It's that uh, by Gallery Furniture we're in that corner. We built that 20,000 for clubs. Okay. And w I was young, had a couple partners. Everyone left me there with it, right? And then someone says to me, damn, JD. How do you end up with a million dollar club? I go, start with two million. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we did. Okay. But I would say if you work that credit line, right, a million dollar credit line could work good. If you just okay. blow it and spend it all, you just get trapped up. That's all I okay. think. So. Out of all the music genres out there, I got two genres that I just got to ask you. Which one do you like or enjoy more? Hip hop or R&B? And I like it all, though. I'm a rocker. I play in rock okay. bands. Okay, what's do your rock favorite shows. rock band? Um, man, I'm old school, like Leonard Skinner, the okay. Funky Three, Three Guitars, Pink Floyd, Clapton. I play here, and I've opened up for a lot of national acts. Oh, you play? Yeah, I have bands I play in, too. Okay, yeah. okay. JD's what? Throwdown Band. <laughs> <laughs> but we've opened out in the parking lot for Queens, right, and Jacko. We've done big uh, rock shows in okay. the parking lot, stage out there, and got to open up. Brett Michaels from Poison and stuff. We, we've all got along with all the old rockers and stuff over the years. And it's an honor to have JD here in front of Private Hip Hop Podcast. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. We'll do that again? Whoop, whoop. You freaking <laughs> right. Oh, whoop, whoop. You freaking right. Private Hip Hop Podcast. I'm No Smith. This is JD from the Concert Pub North here in Houston, Texas. It's been an honor. Check y'all later. Big shouts out to 97.9 The Box and also Hustle Town Network. You got any shots out before we yeah. leave? Yeah. Yo, can we get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! That's it. All right, brother. Be good. Later.
Peace. <laughs> That's true, I told him, but I had to hang up. I was 30 years old.